and I'll be doing on Zero back in a video today. Today, uh, this video is about uh, Matt Byrne officially signing with the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs on a um, deal which will probably which will start in the 2022 NRL season. So yeah, Matt Byrne's officially joined the Bulldogs for um, I think two years was it. Um, so so far he can't join the Bulldogs next year in 2021. He'll he's only signed a deal so far to play in 2022, but. I guess it's still possible Matt Burnett could go to the Bulldogs in 2021. It's possible, but um, for now, he's only signed for 2022. So, I think, honestly, my thoughts on it, I think it's a good signing. I think Matt Burns a, I think Matt Burns a great young player who definitely impressed on his debut and he's impressed in other various games in 2020, in my opinion, coming off the bench at points. Um, yeah, for sure, talent. he's a talented young player, that's for sure. Um, I think he's too... I think he's... You know, better than being a reserve grader. Um, honestly, I've watched some reserve grader games on him, and he looks like that. He just, he's just, you know, beyond being a reserve grader. And then New South Wales Cup, he's more of a first grader, and I think that's good. How the Bulldogs have given him the opportunity. He may not get the Panthers because the Panthers already have Jerome Luai and Nathan Cleary as their halves. So Matt Burton wouldn't be getting much opportunity there. So yeah, good for the Bulldogs to get Matt Burton. I think, um, I mean, Matt Burton and Kyle Flanagan, two young halves with a lot of promise. Um, obviously, it may take a little bit of time, but I think that they are building to the future Bulldogs really well. They, they, um, look in the next couple of years, maybe the next three or four years, the Bulldogs are going to be up there. I reckon. I think that because they've got all these good young players, and the more they are growing together as a group in the coming years, I think the the better they will be in the future. The Bulldogs. So, um, yeah, good signing by uh, the Bulldogs there, Matt Burton. Um, Trent Barrett obviously was keen to get him, and they did uh, officially today. So, um. I mean, like I said before, it's still possible he could go to the Bulldogs in 2021, but um, I think things have to happen in place for that to happen. But, yeah, look, he's only signed for 2022 so far, and um, apparently until Matt Byrne joins the club, uh, the, halves, the halves partner for um, Kyle Flanagan could, could either be Jake Avrilo, Brandon Wakeham, or Lachlan Lewis. But personally, if I was the Bulldogs, for 2021, uh, so far before Matt Byrne gets to the club, I'd have Brandon Wakeham as my... Um, Haas partner for Kyle Flanagan. I think Brandon Wakeham's a great young player who really impressed me in that Fiji game last year when he was playing Lebanon. Brandon Wakeham, he was excellent. And I just got this feeling he's a, he's a great young player, that Brandon Wakeham. So, um, I mean, he could still join. He could still join twenty twenty one, like I said, Matt Burton. But look, he's going to be there in twenty twenty two, and I think for now the Bulldogs should persist with Brandon Wakeham as their number six and then and Kyle Flanagan as the number seven at the halfback role. Um and uh yeah, he has a strong kicking game to Matt Burton. I think that he'll uh bring a bit of an attacking force and attacking another attacking dimension to the Bulldogs. I mean the Bulldogs attack the Bulldogs attacks looks very clunky over the years and I think that someone like him can really um you know, alight their attack a little bit more. Um and I think that and his um game management's pretty good as well from what I've seen and like what I've heard, so um Good, yeah, good for the Bulldogs to be signing this uh, Matt, young Matt Burton. Um, yeah, you know, I think the Bulldogs are building to the future really well. I think, yeah, Matt Burton, Kyle Flanagan should be really a uh, really good halves. Um, and maybe Nick and Manny at fullback and the hooker. Well, who knows about the hooker, but looks like it's between Marshall King and Katoa. But they are building a good team for the future, Bulldogs. I think Barrett's building something there. Um, I think I still think 2021 is a building year for the Bulldogs. I know some people are saying that they could make the eight next year, but... So far, like this could all this can all change. Like I don't know where this could all change, but so far I don't think the Bulldogs make the eight. I think like, they're still growing. Um, twenty twenty one will be a growing year for them, but I reckon they will uh, look a, look a lot better in attack. In my opinion, and I think they will look, look look more like a um just just more like a comfortable side with um, a bit of promise. I think uh, and and those young players will, will show that and do that for the Bulldogs in twenty twenty one and. Um, yeah, for the cup for the couple of years coming up, but um, then again, good sign by the Bulldogs. Um, I think that yeah, so uh, good sign by the Bulldogs. And I think that the Bulldogs' future in the coming years looks looks really good. So guys, that's uh, the end of the video. I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And um, after this video, I'll be making another video, but I'm still planning on what to do, uh, like what to uh, make. But um, stay tuned because I will be making another video. But um, until then, see ya the next one.